Hello, everyone. Welcome to Super Saint Podcast. I'm Steve, and uh, with me today, I have a, a good friend of mine that I've uh, been playing music with for a couple of years. 26 or so? 26-ish. We're probably not any better than we were 26 years ago, but... Not much. Yeah. Got a little deafer. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, today, uh, as you can see, we're... We're actually in our church here at uh, St. Joe's in Conway, St. Joseph, and uh, had some technical glitches at my house where we were trying to record this thing, so uh, we're a little bit late, too. Um, I know I told you about two and a half weeks ago, it'd be about two or three days. Well, things happen. Uh, so better late than never. Yeah, hey, and we, we've got a match to play for here shortly. We're playing for the five o'clock, so... Uh... So. Maybe we can get this on the first take and uh, get it out. Yeah, it, it's going to be what it's going to be. We're going to plow through, and if we mess up, you know, we're used to that. So, oh, yeah. And so is everybody else. Rolls off. <laughs> so, uh, so the first song we're going to play for you is uh, it's a song called uh, Come Follow Me. Um, so we've been playing this song for years, and if, you, uh, if you've heard the lyrics to this, you go, that's, the lyrics sound right, but... Uh, the music sounds a little different, so did some switching up. We'll talk about that for a couple of minutes when we get done. It's actually a Steve Krosky song, so it's a, another Steve. Keep it in the family. That's right. We're not very smart. But we, so. we redid the melody, it's, but it is his lyrics. So we're going to play that right now. Actually, I haven't spoken to Mel in a long time, but I told her uh, whenever we got a we got a reprint license for it a long time ago, we used to put it on song sheets, and uh, I told her that 
over the phone that I had uh, sent a new melody to it. She goes, well, just, that sounds wonderful, whatever. I, I'm not sure she's ever heard, so maybe she'll tune into this and say, hey, that was it. And so Mel we've been playing it like after 25 and years. And Mel is Steve's wife, right? Yes, and so, Steve has passed away. And Steve has passed away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there for some years we tried to, I think, send her some royalty, didn't we? Yeah, so, we did for a long time, yeah. Just to help, uh, you know, just to help out. So, But then we didn't, we quit doing the song sheets. And, yes. So, um, so like we said, we, we've been playing together for a, for a good long, good long time. Um, I like to think that, uh, you know, it's funny, I grew up playing in kind of the rock and roll band thing as a kid, and, and you, you kind of did some similar Pretty much. Stuff. Well, I was more easily listening to uh, James Taylor, uh, Jim Croce kind of stuff. I was a real Jim Croce fan. But uh, when uh, we were called to do this, I played in church for a long time. I started in high school, played, uh, I don't want to tell you when I graduated, but... Uh, I think I was a junior or senior. I played a little bit, and then I went off, and I came back and played with another group. And I played with them for quite a while, and was it was a 96, 97, that uh, we went out to uh, Mesa, Arizona, for the uh, for the Life Team program that they were starting up there. And I was really concerned that uh, a lot of our young people, even from a, from a Catholic school here, uh, would graduate, and then we wouldn't see them at Mass anymore. So it was concerning, and I had a feeling that part of that had to do with the dirgy music that we were doing you know everything was organ and so this kind of introduced us to something more upbeat uh open doors and we've had several priests that were um on board with it as we've gone we've we've made mistakes as we've as we've gone through this but uh you know we've, we've learned from them and we've we've uh, learned new songs we've gotten rid of old songs and, and then we've resurrected some too so uh, that is true. We, we like to take uh, the golden oldies, you know, the oldies, and, and you know, refresh them a little bit and make them at least a little bit new. We actually have behind us here. We, oh wait, they're not here yet. Uh, they'll be here. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll be here. Hopefully so. So we, most uh, of them show up for man. Yeah. So we actually play with a with a group. Um, have a you know, it, it's for some folks, it's like drums in a Catholic church. What? And I and I've struggled with that over the years myself. Uh, as of you know, past couple of years. Mm -hmm. You know, but 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 here's the thing. I, I think if you're tasked to do this, then you need, you should do it as well as you can possibly do it. And we have been crazily enough over the past 26 years. There's actually four of us that have been playing together for pretty much that whole time. Um, well, now one of the guys we started with is a priest now. That's true. One of the first three. So uh, yeah. we know we must be on the right yeah. track if we that's, if a priest came out of this. That's place. true. Our, our uh, lead guitar player back in. Uh, you know, 26 years ago. Uh, yeah, when we started. Actually, uh, actually uh, a priest now. Father Eddie de Almeida. It's wonderful guy and a wonderful guitar player, yeah. Uh, and uh, still plays a little bit, I think. I hadn't talked to him in uh, probably six, eight, ten months or yeah. so. But um, but yeah, so, uh, but uh, our keyboard player and our, our bass player, um, those four of us pretty much were the, and there was, there was a whole group of us, but those were the ones that, you know, were the ones that kind of, around and the group that we play with now is um we've been together for what 15 years some of us kind of in and out here and there but you know mm -hmm. taking short breaks and things but uh and then of course the whole covid thing you know we all of us took a break for a minute yeah everybody got a but, break uh, but yeah so it's been it's been great and there's some you know i've always thought our job was there's some really good music out there there's some really good christian music out there um and some of these uh some of these Christian groups are really good. I love it when they take an old hymn, you know, and they, I don't, not really spice it up. Just give it new just, life. Just, yeah, give it, a, give it a little bit of a different, not even a different twist, same melody, but just mm -hmm. the arrangement be a little different and it really, you know, it just helps, to me it helps, you know, draw people in a little bit better than, uh, you know, I, I love, having said all that, I'd love to go to uh, just a, you know, not a traditional light mass, but a, just a traditional, you know, Novus Ordo Mass with, with, a, with a great choir, or even a great, just a great single, you know, cantor uh, and, uh, and an organ. I love that. We're called to do something a little different, and we do a little different. We do a little so, different. But, you know, we're always trying to keep in mind that, uh, you, know, you know, keep it, uh, you know, this is the liturgy. We don't want to go, go too crazy. Keep the main thing the main thing. That's exactly right. So... We're here to praise the Lord and to help the congregation. So, um, 
another another song that we've done for quite a few years is I can't remember the copyright date on this song, but no, simple it's, simple uh, song. Very simple. Uh, uh, keep it simple. Yeah, yeah, definitely keep it simple. And uh, you know we play this a lot around through Advent. Uh, of course, as, as we're recording this, uh, it's uh, the fifth Sunday of Lent, uh, 2023. But we like to play this during Lent too, because it does speak to, you know, speaks to a lot. So we'll let y'all get a taste for it. Here you go. It's called. Uh, what is this? What's the name of it? Something in the key of D. Something songs in the key of D. Prepare the way. Uh, we got us an audio guy here. So um, we're doing a podcast right now for Journeys of Faith. So we yeah. got the board up there. Uh, you get to see some behind the scenes stuff here. So uh, I got the board recording us. So, <laughs> so please did. don't get stopped. Or you did. Uh, when uh, when he gets a second, he's going to come up here because we're talking about. Craig's uh, been around for a long time. Yeah, those of us that have been doing this for a minute. Uh, and. Uh, Craig is one of those guys. He was our uh, old original sound. He's fella. a sound fella for yeah, for a long time, and for a bunch of other people too. It's been a while. It's been a yeah. It's been a few days. It's been a few days. It's been a few days. So we're uh, good, 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 good. Come on. Yeah. We haven't mentioned too many dates. Craig, good to see you. 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 Say hi to the folks there. Hey folks. How you, so are you? I'm, just, I'm just hiding over here on the side. Are you here to run that thing tonight? Or? No, no, just a little repair work I had to do. Uh, we've got a new, uh, it is always something. Yeah, yeah, there is always something. So yeah. we're doing that. But, yeah. 
thought I'd pop in real quick. I didn't think y'all were going to be here. Yeah, I yeah. thought I'd get in, get out, you know, nice and quiet. <laughs> well, we thought we'd get here with nobody else. <laughs> I'm not sure with as big as church is, you can do anything in here that somebody don't show up. Yeah, probably. Exactly. Yeah, That's any probably time. Time. Exactly. Probably true. <laughs> well, you boys, have fun. All right. 10-4. Have, have a great rest of your Sunday. You too. We'll see Bye. you. Hey, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to go see Jerry. He's a splendid splice. He's a long sick. <laughs> So uh, Kirk just retired. Uh, so my father-in-law always, when he first retired, we uh, we still have Sunday dinner. Yeah. Every Sunday, pretty much at my in-laws. So when my father-in-law retired, every Sunday I'd ask him, "So what are you going to do tomorrow?" And his response every time was, "What I was supposed to do yesterday that I didn't do today." Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Mr. Craig Strauss. Are we going to do one more? Yeah, yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do one more. And uh, I wanted to talk first about, especially before anybody gets here, I, you know. Because we do what we do, we get asked to play for certain things, and uh, uh, funerals. Funerals. Uh, yeah, used to be weddings when we were younger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a few more funerals than uh, than weddings, as it turns out. And you know, that's uh, there. I, you know, there's no greater honor. That's true. No greater honor than to uh, to play for somebody's funeral, that's especially true. if the deceased has asked you before they passed away. So yeah, it's like fulfilling a, a last wish, and uh, and it is it is an honor that we take very seriously. It's yeah, it definitely. And over the years, we've you know, funerals are uh, they're tough, uh, and you have to always you know we play for our own relatives, uh, each other's relatives. Um, you know, of course, you know, lots of parishioners, uh, and you know, there's a few. <laughs> basic rules number one never ever look at the family and we're standing you can't see but right there is where um, our pews begin and, and that's of course where the family sits uh, but it but it has been just an honor over the years to be able to help people and, and you know I'd look at most of the time when we play funerals the request is what this ain't no this is a celebration so let, let's they don't want know. dirge yeah they 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 want to they want to be uplifted um because in a in a time of in a time of crisis in a time of loss, um, you know you have to find the joy that that person was to you, and uh, so we we try to help try to help folks look for that and find it. Uh, the last last funeral we played for was for my sister a month ago, and uh, it was it was difficult, but uh, it was it was healing as well. I know it was for me, and I believe it was for my family as well. So. Yeah, so so we're we're gonna play one more song here. We'll leave Are you gonna this. sing anything? I'm letting you sing, man. I'm, they'll get to hear me play. Okay. <laughs> so hey, I'll be on the next podcast. Get into singing. <laughs> speaking of that, um, so Steve and I have been working on music for well, I don't know, 26 years, and have we've never written, really we've written a few, a few, a few. He's a fantastic lyricist, songwriter. Um, we are in the process. My my goal is by Easter, and that gives me two weeks. Nice. We got to hurry just to do the mix down and get everything you know settled and where it needs to be um so uh be looking for that where we decided to do a we've got enough songs to do probably three albums but we decided to do let's do them in five or six songs maybe seven song um you know just little EPs. mini lps yeah hands. exactly so that's what we're going to do this is going to be one of them on one of them uh i don't know which one i think it's on this first one actually uh, so this is called uh, Precious Lord. Mr. Clapman wrote this one. So we're going to play this, and, and that's it. So I'm rocking off. Hey, man, well, people are coming in. It's going to be time for Mass in a minute anyway. So.
cross we will live giving all you did give precious Lord precious Lord unending grace softer hearts we can't stop to listen to your love by your grace a holy place as we So time flies. When time flies when you're yeah talking to your kid. So uh, we're going to wrap it up here. I've got some interviews lined up um, that hopefully will be uh, coming up very soon. Again, going to try to do this once a month. Um, so if you have any ideas of what you want to see, uh, leave a leave a com comment in the in the links below. Uh, so uh, with that, we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks for joining, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Enjoyed it. God bless. God bless you.